Hey guys, and welcome to my Fit for Life YouTube channel. I'm Kat, owner of Eat and Run Fitness. Thank you for joining me today. So this is my first video where I'm really trying to give you guys some valuable information that you can take away and use to make eating healthy when you're on the go and when you have a busy life easier. So today we're going to be talking about meal prepping. Dun dun dun! Uh, so I know a lot of times when people hear meal prepping, they have this picture in their head of a zillion pots on the stove and stuff cooking in the oven and a bunch of preset little plates and, and cups and Tupperware and everything laid out and it's this whole big thing and all the groceries all at once and that can feel really overwhelming and if it's overwhelming then we're missing the point of meal prepping. <laughs> so I want to open your guys eyes to the idea that meal prepping doesn't necessarily have to look like that. It can. If you're that person where you're like I want to have one day, Sunday is my day, I go grocery shopping, I chop everything, I cook everything and I package everything and that is what works for you. Awesome, fantastic, go with it. But know there are other versions of meal prepping that you can do that might work better for your particular situation. You could do everything all in one day if that works for you, but if not, you could also potentially go grocery shopping and chop stuff on one day and then cook things as you go throughout the week. Or you could grocery shop, chop, cook, and then not worry about packaging. Or you could do kind of what I do, which is what I call chunking meals, where basically I will order my groceries on primenow.com because I like having my groceries delivered to me. I do not like taking the time to go to the grocery store. And then once they come to me, I usually will chop a good amount of my fruits and veggies. And then sometimes I'll prep my meats by either marinating them or adding seasonings. But honestly, I don't do that very often. That's just if I'm feeling real special that week. And then basically anytime I know that I have time to cook a meal, I'll cook it and I'll, I'll do everything then, but I'll cook like five servings of that meal. So for example, I know for me, my Mondays and Wednesdays are my busiest days of the week. Those are days where I usually will have back-to-back -back clients almost the entire day for 12 hours. So I know that I'm not gonna have any time to prep anything. So what I'll do is on Sundays and Tuesdays, whenever I do my breakfast, lunch, and dinner, when I know I have time to actually put time into making those things and cooking those things, I'll do you know 12 soft-boiled eggs and I'll cook four breasts of chicken and I will put a ton of the veggies that I had already chopped, I usually do my chopping on, and grocery shopping on Sundays, and I'll take all of that and I'll just roast it all. I'll toss it in some olive oil, a little bit of seasoning, I usually like either doing an Italian seasoning or a lemon garlic seasoning, those are kind of my two go-tos, and I'll just do it all in the oven. Like A lot of times I'll put all the veggies on a, on a pan, and like I said, I'll toss it with olive oil and seasonings. And I will bake those at 350, 375, depending on if I want a little bit more of a char on those veggies or not. And usually around 10 minutes and then shake it up and then do another 10 minutes. And then while those are cooking, I will also put the meat in there. And usually it's like chicken will be like 30 minutes at 350. Salmon I'll put in there, but then I'll take it out a little bit faster, 15, 20 minutes in there and I'll take it out and let the veggies finish cooking. And then sometimes if I'm doing grains, a lot of times I follow paleo, but if I'm doing grains, I'll do a big pot of quinoa or I'll do a big pot of oatmeal, that kind of thing. So any way to kind of, I'm already doing it, I'm already cooking, so I might as well cook a lot. And then on those days when I am really busy, I can just pull out whatever was cooked from the day before. And sometimes I'll go through the effort of heating it up, a lot of times I'll just eat it cold. I'll grab my cold veggies, I will grab, you know, whatever, some sliced chicken, sometimes I'll have a little bit of a dipping sauce to put it in to make it a little bit more appetizing. And then for me, I also, it's helpful to have kind of your go-to recipes when it comes to meal prepping. So for me, my breakfast is always the same, and basically what I'll do is I will put all of my frozen stuff in packages for the whole week, and then I will put all of my dry ingredients in a little package and put it in my fridge for the whole week. And then when I get up in the mornings, all I have to do is grab two of those packages, dump it in, and blend it, and then that's my morning breakfast. And that's kind of an example of something that you can do for a lot of your meals, where it's like you have something that's go-to and it's just right there, you grab it, you put it together, done. Another thing that you can do to kind of lessen your time with the prepping is get as much food as you can that is already meal prepped for you. So you can get organic deli meats, you can get string cheese, you can get yogurts that are already in their little packages, their little individual packages. 
Get fruits that are really easy to just grab and go, like a banana, like an apple, like those little cuties. Get vegetables that are pre-chopped. Get, and, and you know, one small thing you could do is if you get, if you like sauces or, you know, hummus or salsa or that kind of thing, then those you can kind of really quickly put in little Tupperwares and that's easy enough to do. I also like to rely on rotisserie chicken and just pull pieces off of that as I need it. I'll use really clean protein bars when I'm in a pinch. I try not to rely on protein bars too much, but I'll do bulletproof protein bars. They're collagen based and they're delicious and they're gluten free and dairy free, which is awesome. I also like Lara bars because they're really clean, really simple ingredients. And then on occasion, again, if I'm more in a pinch, I'll use protein powders for like, for example, I'll do um, Vega One chocolate nutritional shake. That's one of my favorites, it's so good. Um, and I'll just put that with a little bit of coconut milk and some water. So there's a lot of different things that you can do to kind of bring that time of prepping down in a way that you can really, you can honestly eat quicker this way than even going out to a fast food restaurant. And last but not least, when it comes to prep, prepare yourself for the times where you didn't prep. <laughs> Preparation is key. So have your go-to places, have your go-to restaurants where you have your go-to food choices that you know the calories are low, you know it's relatively clean eating. For example, for me, I love going to Chipotle and I'll do a bowl. So it's just, I'll do you know half rice and beans and lots and lots of veggies. I don't do cheese, I don't do sour cream, I'll do a little bit of guac and I know that that's gonna be a really pretty easy choice. Look up your favorite restaurants and look up the nutritional information for their menus and find your go-to stuff so you don't have to think about it when you go to those restaurants. And that's gonna be a way that even if you have not prepped, you're still prepped. <laughs> you're still prepped to stay on track with your goals and to make sure that that one meal out is not gonna mess you up for the rest of the week because it is easy for those quick stops to sabotage our goals. For example, I was looking up a menu for a client because she was gonna go to this restaurant and she was like, I wanna have this thing, How, you know, is that gonna be okay? And I was like, well, let's look it up. And it was in the delightful side of the menu. So they specifically had a delightful menu that you hear that and you're thinking, oh, okay, light calories. They had this one dish listed that was a salmon and quinoa bowl, which even me, I'm a professional, and I heard salmon and quinoa bowls. That's gonna be awesome. It was over a thousand calories. <laughs> that's insane, and that is on the delightful menu, which is crazy to me in and of itself, but that's just to say when you go out to a restaurant, you need to prep yourself. So talking about meal prepping, this is a version of meal prepping, is being aware of what your meals are gonna look like at restaurants too, because that's really, really important, because there are some times where you find yourself stuck out and about, and you don't have the things that you need, and you're gonna stop at a restaurant, and I don't want that to be the reason that you're not reaching your goals. So let me know, reach out to me if you have any other meal prep ideas, because I know that everybody has their different ways of doing things. And if you want my on-the-go cheat sheet, make sure that you go and subscribe to my list on my website, www.eatandrunfitness.com. That's E-A-T, the letter N is in Nancy, R-U-N-F-I-T-N-E-S-S.com. Um, as soon as you subscribe, you'll get my on-the-go cheat sheet that has kind of all this pared down as far as meal prep, as far as um, nutrition for some different fast food restaurants, and different meals that you can put together that are really good and easy on the go that will kind of last you all day. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, Eat and Run Fitness. I'll talk to you next time. Four. Take one. Take one. Okay. Some of this. Hold on. Mm -hmm. uh, uh. When I replaced it, I rude. Messed up. <laughs> <laughs> Meal prep is fun. So rude. Okay. Meal prep is great. Um, or you can do. Back. Sorry. So blah. I know I got a little bit fast on that one, but yes, I guess the info was good. <laughs> yes. <laughs>